everyone this is me shubhanshi and welcome back to art of you so today's video is a sunset painting tutorial using acrylic colors and in today's video we will be painting a silhouette painting so silhouette painting is nothing but a painting are you going to hear some meows that's just my cat okay it is not my cat it is kind of a stray cat that i kind of pet and now she will visit me daily Okay, moving back to our topic. So today I'm going to paint a silhouette painting, and in a silhouette painting, uh, it is a painting in which there is a background of any color that we are choosing. It might be a sunset landscape. It may, it might be a night landscape. So in that painting, usually the details are added using the black color. So in that similar style, I have painted one such uh, silhouette painting, which I wanted to kind of teach you, like how you can paint that for yourself also. So I will show you which painting I want to. I am going to show you today. I thought I will let you know how to paint such kind of silhouette paintings. So this is the painting that I will be painting today. I will be showing. I hope you can see this. This is very. Uh, this is very basic painting that if you are a beginner or an intermediate level artist who is you know trying to pursue art or practice art just because it it makes you feel good or. something that you uh, used to do earlier but you have kind of uh, given it up so this is one such painting that you can try to get hold back to your skill so this is the painting that we will be painting today there will be a voice instructions so you can follow those instructions and you can paint this for yourself so as i mentioned earlier this is a acrylic painting we will be using acrylic colors to paint this uh, as you can see the shades it is mainly a uh, I have used white to dilute the shade and make it nearly kind of yellow or light orange. Orange color is there, there and a little bit of red is also there. I will also note down the uh, colors in the description also so you can definitely refer that. Okay? So that's what we are painting today. So let's go and see the process video. As you can see, I have prepared my watercolor sheet using masking tape and now I'm adding scarlet lake color directly on the sheet. Also adding little bit of white so that we can achieve a lighter shade at the lower section of this painting. Now, using a flat brush, start applying color all over the sheet. Make sure it is evenly spread. Now start spreading white color. As the colors are damp, they will blend perfectly. If you feel that your brush has dried up, you can dip it in a little water to make it damp. I also added little crimson color at top to give a bright red shade to our sky. Now using crimson lake color and a flat brush add the clouds by painting distant horizontal lines as shown These do not have to be perfect just trust your intuition Now to add some details I will be painting a bird using a fine liner brush Since I am comfortable with adding details directly on the sheet I am doing so but i will recommend that you first practice this on a rough paper and then paint on your original artwork you can pause the video to paint along with me You can see that I'm not keeping the edges clean rather I am keeping them uneven to create the effect of feathers.
Now to complete this painting, I'm adding grass as well. You can add other details as well, maybe like birds or anything that you like. Just let your creativity find expression too. That's it, we are done. So that's all for today's video guys and I hope you would have enjoyed this process video and learned a lot from this and if you did you can recreate this painting and if you have any doubts you can comment them down. You can also share some suggestions if you have with me so I can work on that and share those videos with you as well. If you liked this video and learned anything from it you know the drill you can like and subscribe to my channel and stay connected for more such videos. So that's all for today's video guys and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.